Welcome to Magic Gathering Strat. I'm gonna play Tron in modern again, but I did receive a lot of comments on the last video, which was good. It seems that you like modern. So um, let's change something about the deck. We had Fire Spouts because I started play playing this deck when uh, <laughs> when Sue was a thing and it isn't anymore. So uh, let's remove them and put in more Pyroclasps. Oh god, only had one. Okay, one fire spout still goes in the deck for the time being. Okay, here we go. Still pretty rusty though. I've only played that single match you watched last week. Or last year. Two Ursa Lands and Expedition map looks pretty good to me. Relic of Prianitis and a snow-covered land, that probably means something. That I should know what it means. But I have... I don't know what it means. You tell me! Burn would be my guess, but why would you play snow-covered lands? Why would you play a relic? Got tower and mine, need... Uh, power plant. Just burn me, no? Just eat your relic. What are you going to do? Uh, okay, that thing. Luckily, I don't feel that Blood Moon really hurts me that much. Which might sound strange, but I've lost enough games to Tron. Um, when they have played, when I played Blood Moon, so I know that. Spell Skite. Expedition map. We'll just play these Worm Coil Engines when we get to six mana. The Emrakul will be hard to play though. Koth of the Hammer. Okay. Yeah, do it, Koth. What are you gonna do then? Get a lot of mana. Hell, I'm scared. I'm longing for my worm coil. Three turns seems like a lot of time now. Hey Fire Spout, you don't look very useful, do you? Can I get some useful land? Uh, the forest, of course. What's the minus five? That's a lot. Uh, what? Then we got of revenge. How interesting. That hurt. Uh, there's a forest. Still can't really do anything useful. I'm gonna be able to block the mountain. And I'm gonna be able to target an expel, but not both. He'll fly over my worm coil engine. Uh oh. That's not enough.
How the hell do I sideboard against this? Yeah, I'm just dead here. Uh, I have one life. Uh, this would be interesting if I could do something. Now Oblivion Stone is a bit too late. So let's try to sideboard. What do you call his deck? I have no idea. Do we want surgical extraction? It's not combo enough, is it? How do we get rid of the demigods? Obviously our pyroclasts aren't doing anything. Do we want a torpor orb? Seems like over sideboarding. I think I want to dismember. We can still get rid of the demigods with uh, the relic. Craft biggest cage, two nature's claims. How would you have sideboarded? Let me know in the comments. Yes, that is not good. This is not much better, but I have to work with it. Tower, star. Pyrite spell bomb. That I do not fear. There's an expedition map. Burn the star. Always for green, right? That's why we always need to do it for green. Sai, that was a mistake. Well, if you, as long as you keep liking these videos, I'm gonna make one a week. So uh, I guess I'll get back into action pretty soon. Uh oh. And one means I can't get rid of it either. Scrying or expedition map? Well, I'm gonna use the expedition map and I'm gonna. I can't play the relic. So that's not a thing. So I'm expedition mapping for mine. Boros Reckoner. I did not expect him. Mine. Need one more land. So I got to do the stirrings, the scrying here, looking for a power plant. There we go. Mine. So next turn I could just blow everything up. Or cast corn liberated. Blow everything up, then cast corn liberated. Seems like a good idea. Chalice of the Void. But you need some more permanent.
He cycles the spell bomb. Well, his, his deck doesn't feel super impressive. What if he's saving the Blood Moon? Should we just go Karn? Exile the Reckoner. Go from there. Hmm. Or should we blow things up? Blow things up. Blowing things up is fun. Do it after his turn, of course. So uh, uh, corn has to turn to work. Da, this goes boom, chakalaka. Boom, 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 chakalaka. The stone goes boom, chakalaka. Boom, 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 chakalaka. It's all gone. All your fancy stuff is gone. Karn liberated. You must not have stuff. I do not like it when you have stuff. Uh oh. Look at the top card. Okay. Oh, that's why I have the snow covered lands. Well, corn gets that reaction from people. I think I had him there. So. Uh, okay, so we have seen more stuff. So maybe we just need more nature's claims. Take out the stirrings for nature claim. Check out the dismember for nature's claim. Because now he has both the chalice and uh, blood moon. Let's blow it all up. Blowing stuff up is fun. What the hell is this then? This is not a lot. What a crappy hand. But I can burn some relics and go to town. Uh, the cage seems sketchy. Sketchy skate. Cage, I mean. Uh, okay. So. Can I, what happens if he plays Chalice of the Void? He set, I can't nature's claim a Chalice of the Void, right? I don't think I can, so I'm better off playing the Relic. I'm burning through stuff quickly so I get to my Ursa lands. I also very, I can't hit, I can hit the Blood Moon because I can take green mana first. The Cage of Love. Okay, if he doesn't do anything, I can then burn the Relic at the end of his turn. So now I get the green mana. And then I nature's claim it. And now it's ghost quarter time. Play another relic. Why am I not using the relics? Okay, because I want to blow them up for cards. That's what I want to do. Scrying sheets. Crying sheets. Cough of the hammer. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, blow these relics. Uh oh. Another blood moon. That's good. We'll blow the other one as well. So now I get mana from the Eye of Ugin. That's not what you normally do. And another relic. So one more land then. And we can blow up my Grafter Gears cage. I forget about it, because it wasn't very good, was it? Koth? Don't do it, Koth. Uh-oh. Destroy each artifact you don't control. That's sad. Okay, now I'm in trouble and I've been blood mooned again. And I take back everything I said about blood moon. Demigod of Revenge is a pretty good clock. I'm gonna lose here. Okay, tell me how you would have cyber. Tell me what you would have brought in, what you would have taken out. I can get a forest here. And then I can stir for another land, I guess. And then I actually get to play. Maybe that it's not enough, is it? Though I'm one mana from Corn Liberated. Depends on what else is in his hand, but another demigod is enough to kill me. Yeah, relic. Four cards in his hand, nine damage coming my way. But he can't do that next turn. Of course he gets the emblem. More blood moons. But there is Karn, can I? Survive this. Yeah, I can get rid of corn. So maybe I'll live. Unless he has like one lightning bolt. He's getting mana, right? No, he's got a Boros Reckoner. What's the plan? So does this mean I still die? I think it does. Blowing up everything here would be super sweet, but I have one mana too little. What if I... If I hit him, I get to seven. Of course, the Boros Reckoner blocking just kills me anyway.
Okay, let's think about this. I have to remove corn, otherwise I die. But if he blocks with the Reckoner... I need to prevent damage from all his three sources, and I don't know a way to do that. And I need to attack to gain the life. Otilia's block with the Reckoner. I attack cost of the hammer. But he still just blocks with the Reckoner. So then nothing happens. And he still has two threats. And I can't remove them both. So it doesn't work. I'm just dead. Was there a way out there? I don't think there was. Blood Moon kills me again. I take back everything. Blood Moon is awesome. Thank you for watching and please like and tell me that you want more modern, if you want more modern that is. Uh, there's been a couple of other modern videos last week, what do you think about them? Uh, let me know, thank you for watching.